aspirants, welcome to Prep Joy Current Affairs. I am Swati Nair. In our YouTube channel, we run you through daily current affairs quizzes from our Prep Joy app. We put up a video every day. So subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon below to get daily updates. Without any further ado, let's get started. The first question for the day is, when was World Pulses Day celebrated? The answer is 10 February. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, World Pulses Day 2022 is celebrated of the contribution of pulses to sustainable food system, healthy growth and environmental benefit. The second question for the day is, which tunnel passing through a height of 10,044 feet above sea level has been recorded in the Guinness Books of Records? The answer is Atal Tunnel Rotang. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, it is the longest highway single tube tunnel above 10,000 feet in the world when completed and is named after the former Prime Minister of India, Atal Bihari Vajpayee. The third question for the day is, who has become the Secretary of the Department of Financial Services, Ministry of Finance? The answer is Sanjay Malhotra. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, Sanjay Malhotra is a 1990 batch IAS officer of Rajasthan Kedair. The fourth question for the day is, where will India's first biomass-based hydrogen plant be set up? The answer is Madhya Pradesh. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, every day this plant will produce 1 ton of hydrogen from 30 tons of biomass feedstock. The book for the day is, Mark Book, India, Polity and Governance for Civil Services, Prelims, State PCS and Other Competitive Exams 2022. Mark Book series deals with the preliminary exams for civil services. It's a two-in-one series that offers advantages of both magazine and book. The entire syllabus of Indian polity and governance is divided into 25 chapters. This book focuses on the topics and trends of questions asked in the previous year questions. It offers chapter-wise practice and well-detailed explanations of the previous year questions. More than 3000 MCQs for the revision of the topics are provided. Five practice sets and two previous year solved paper sets are provided for practice. The book uses easy for quick understanding. The price of this book is 196 rupees and the publisher of this book is Arihan Publications. The fifth question for the day is, recently Dr. M. Gangadharan has passed away. He was? The answer is historian. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, he was active in social spheres for over half a century, not only as a historian but also as a writer. The sixth question for the day is, where was the Tibetan government in exile inaugurated the new Tibet Museum? The answer is Dharmashala. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, the aim is to disseminate the uncensored story of Tibet to the world besides preserving the cultural heritage of Tibet. The seventh question for the day is, who has become the second largest buyer of gold in 2021? The answer is Reserve Bank of India. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, RBI mocked up 77.5 metric tons of gold in 2021, the highest ever after 2009 where it brought 200 metric tons from the International Monetary Fund. The eighth question for the day is, who has launched Powerthon 2022? The answer is R.K. Singh. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, it is a hackathon competition to find technology-driven solutions to solve the complex problems in the power distribution and to ensure quality and reliable power supply. The ninth question for the day is, who inaugurated the deck in Dadar? The answer is Aditya Thakare. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, the project cost was 6.1 crore rupees. It also includes 5 years of maintenance that has been given out to an agency. The deck is constructed on 26 pillars. The 10th question for the day is, which state government has announced a new IT-ITES policy for the next 5 years? The answer is Gujarat. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, the policy looks to encourage research and development in crucial components of cloud ecosystem including artificial intelligence, machine learning, quantum computing, blockchain and other emerging technologies. The 11th question for the day is, which is the most congested city in the world in 2021? The answer is Istanbul. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, the study covers 404 cities across 58 countries and ranks urban congestion worldwide. The 12th question for the day is, who has received the 18th 
लेट माधव रावली में अवार्ड द आंसर इज नितिन गडकरी व्हाट कम्स टू दिस क्वेश्चन ऑल यू हैव टू रिमेंबर इज इन हिज मेमोरी द पब्लिक लाइब्रेरी नाशिक एनुअली सेलेक्ट्स वन ऑफ द मेंबर्स ऑफ विधान परिषद विधानसभा लोकसभा राज्यसभा फॉर द एफिशिएंट एमएलए एंड एमपी अवार्ड द थर्ड इन क्वेश्चन फॉर द डे इज हु हैज एक्वायर्ड अ 40% स्टेक इन Sterling and Wilson Renewable Energy. The answer is Reliance. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is the firm initially got a preferential allotment of 2.93 crore shares of 15.46% equity at a price of 375 rupees per equity share on December 31st. The 14th question for the day is the new Ahmedabad-based IPL team will be called as. The answer is Gujarat Titans. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is Titans among two new entrants to the IPL along with Lucknow Super Jains was bought by CBC Capital Partners last October. We have reached towards the end of the video. This is the final question for the day. Who has banned the import of foreign drones? The answer is India. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is the import of drones for research and development purposes. and defense and security are exempt from the ban but will require clearances that's all for today thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and let me know in the comments if you have downloaded prajoy app if you haven't find the link in the description and i'll see you all tomorrow at 6 pm happy learning